At only 21 years of age, AOJ Phenom Tynan Dalpra is already a two-time world champion in the Gi. With an over 70% submission rate at the black belt level, it's clear that every time he competes, he's looking to make a statement. And that's what makes him one of my favorite competitors to watch. You know to expect constant forward pressure and non-stop movement in pursuit of making his opponents crumble. Having fought on myself at blue belt some years ago, after a butt whooping, I can say the level of technique that I felt was scary. And even scarier, just how he made quick work of me years ago is how he has been doing to many others as he's made his way up through the ranks. After seeing how easily he passed Andy Murasaki at this past IBJJF Worlds Finals, I knew I had to start studying him, and that's exactly what I did. So to begin this breakdown, I felt the best way to start was by going over the obvious surface level techniques Tynan uses most to pass the guard. Generally, Tynan prefers to enter into headquarters, or HQ for short, to use a mid-range AOJ passing system. One reason why HQ is such a great position to work passes from is because it puts the guard player at a major disadvantage, with one leg being stuffed between the passer's legs and the other leg being flared out to the side. The guard player's options are limited, and to free their legs, they must work to bump the passer and or pummel their legs. Another major reason is that it presents so many passing options and choices to expand on depending on your opponent's reaction. The passes you'll commonly see Tynan use stemming from HQ are the knee cut where he drives his knee through his opponent's guard, the long step where he sits out to the side and removes his leg from the guard, the leg weave where he pivots and drives his weight across the hips, and the leg trap where he traps the leg and works into moves such as a leg drag and stack pass. Since the majority of Tynan's passing sequences begin in HQ, even passes that are normally considered to be more far distance, such as Toriandos and throwbys, are incorporated into his more medium distance style. These passes tend to result in a lot of arm weave, or what is also referred to as crazy dog passes, where he weaves his arm through the legs in order to establish a cross grip and pass in that same direction. Although we'll only just touch on distance passing in this video, I do recommend checking out Guy Mendez's Understanding the Distance on Top DVD on BJJ Fanatics, where he conceptually goes over far, medium, and near distance passing. It definitely gave me a better understanding as I studied Tynan. If you'd like to support the channel and happen to be interested in this instructional, the link for my referral code will be in the comment section and description below, so be sure to check it out. Now the ability to do all these passes isn't what makes Tynan one of the most elite guard passers today, it's the concept behind them, chain passing. The ability to connect these passes together based on the situation at hand. It's what the AOJ system is all about, to constantly be ready to switch speeds, grips, apply pressure on and off, and side to side movement. Through chain passing the opponent will inevitably break, they'll always be on defense, never comfortable, and eventually tire out and or make an error. And we see this so many times through Tynan's matches, where he keeps at it with such a level of persistence and tenacity, never discouraged from not being able to finish the pass, but instead motivated. So now let's analyze a few passing sequences beginning in HQ. Here, Tynan's opponent named Jacko is able to recover his guard after escaping back control. Tynan settles into headquarters and enters the leg weave as he breaks the collar grip. He attempts to bump Jacko's leg and appears to go for a knee cut. With Jacko's hips turned to the side, Tynan tries to long step around the guard, then switches back to the knee cut. With Jacko doing a great job at having sticky legs, Tynan switches grips as he goes for the long step again. With his leg almost free, Jacko uses his arm to attempt to keep Tynan's leg trapped, but he gives space for an underhook, allowing Tynan to switch back to the knee cut and close the distance, soon after getting through the guard and forcing the turtle. In the sequence against Itulomora, Tynan stuffs the foot off his hip to go into headquarters. As Tynan enters the leg weave, Ithilo flares his knee out so his legs don't get smashed. But it presents an opportune time for Tynan to enter into a leg trap variation by gripping Ithilo's collar. Just a side note, when doing the traditional leg trap, Tynan keeps his head on the inside position while gripping the belt as seen here against Hanada Kanuto. I won't go into variations of passes he uses in this video, as I mainly want to speak generally and show his ability to chain passes together rather than specifics of each pass. But feel free to comment below if you'd like me to go into more specifics in future videos. Picking up where Tynan backs out and walks around the guard, Italo manages to recover. Tynan immediately goes back on the attack and Toriandos into a stack pass and pulls Italo's head in to finish. Italo manages to pummel in his leg again to defend, but Tynan is quick to react by switching to the arm weave and finishes by pressuring in as he walks around the guard. 
This next sequence is against one of my favorite competitors to watch in Jefferson Guarisi. Tynan and Jefferson have fought three times at the black belt level, and each time Jefferson uses his insane guard retention to make Tynan really have to work for the pass, showcasing a ton of beautiful chain passing and side to side movement, which as a spectator you gotta love. Here we see Tynan engage and stay on the outside, utilizing a more far distance approach. As Jefferson pummels to counter the Toriando, Tynan sprawls and attacks the weak side. Jefferson recovers, but Tynan again jumps around the legs. This time Tynan pins Jefferson's legs and forces a stack as he drives his knees into his lower back to make the position stronger. Jefferson is able to fight the grips and work his back to the mat, forcing Tynan to use his shin and underhook to restack him. He manages to bump Tynan off and finally pummel in his leg, but Tynan is already on the move using the pan grip to Toriando around the guard. Tynan then gets the arm weave cross grip and as Jefferson inverts to continue to defend, Tynan pins his legs and uses his shins to transition into a leg drag. He then switches to a collar grip and drives his chest into Jefferson, forcing the turtle, eventually ending up in top half guard and finishing with a knee slice. So now that we've established Tynan's favorite passes and that what makes him so effective is the concept of chain passing, we have to take a closer look at the more subtle techniques he uses. Think of these techniques as a not so obvious links within the chain that often allow him to finish or tie together many of his passes, namely the windshield wiper and the shin slice. In this sequence against Andy Murasaki, we see Tynan immediately assert himself into HQ after coming up on a sweep. He goes for a knee cut but is unsuccessful due to Andy's leg pant grip. Tynan then drives the opposite way and pivots into the leg weave. With Andy wanting to avoid getting smashed, he frames and flares open his leg. The subtle technique here is when Tynan windshield wipes over Andy's free leg in hopes of breaking the pant grip. And although Andy still holds on, Tynan creates a better angle to get his head on the inside position to enter the leg trap, making himself into a compact ball and then springing up to stack Andy and hit the leg drag. In this example, we see Tynan enter HQ right off of his opponent's guard pool. It actually took me quite a few times of reviewing the sequence to even notice how smooth this was, but in case you missed it, check this out. When Jacko pulls guard in an attempt to get both hooks on the inside of Tynan's legs, Tynan windshield wipes right into HQ. It's the little things like that that allow him to work right into his game and be on the offensive right from the get-go. He then immediately breaks the grips and works into a knee cut. As Tynan switches to the long step, Jacko manages to retain his guard with his hooks. Watch this beautiful footwork by Tynan. He walks Jacko's hips away from him so he can windshield wiper his leg back into headquarters. He then gets the deep underhook as he goes for the knee slice. It's super hard to see and extremely subtle, but look how Tynan uses a shin slice to get through the guard and cause Jacko to turtle. Here's a better look at the shin slice shown by Guy Mendez, where just how the name describes, you slice across the shin, typically from the knee slice position. In this sequence against Eduardo Avalar, Tynan goes right for the knee cut after coming up on the sweep. Eduardo does a great job framing and creating enough distance to get his legs back in front of Tynan. As Tynan Toriandos, Eduardo hooks his leg, but Tynan shin slices across. Eduardo again recovers. Tynan transitions to the leg weave, and again Toriandos are on the guard. Shin slicing through Eduardo's last hope at keeping his guard. In all the examples shown this far, we've seen just how easily Tynan is able to blow through guards. But how about when his opponent is able to tie him up with pesky lasso and lapel guards? If he stuffs you into HQ, you can try to tie him up with your lapel, but he can explosively posture out and break the grip. Or you can lasso him, but be careful of the constant threat of throw bys, arm weaves, and wrist pummels to long steps. You can even switch it up and do both lasso and lapel guard, like Ronaldo Jr. attempts on Tynan in their numerous battles, but he has answers for that too. In this sequence, Tynan pushes Ronaldo's leg off of his lapel, and then literally rips his arm free from lasso. Ronaldo is able to save himself with a tricky lapel frame, but Tynan just pressure cooks him, eventually making his way around the back and nearly mounting him. In another match of theirs, Ronaldo double lassos Tynan in an attempt to slow him down. Tynan pummels his hand out of one of the lasso grips, and postures to break the other. As Ronaldo switches to a lapel guard variation by using the belt, Tynan stuffs his leg into HQ and pressure passes into a knee cut. Now there's so much more that I can elaborate on in this Tynan guard passing study, such as grip breaking, footwork, etc. But I want to make this video a reasonable length. I hope I was able to give you a general understanding of how he chain passes, 
and deal with certain guards. If I get enough comments requesting more on Tynan, I'll be sure to do it. Thanks for sticking around and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this. If you'd like to support the channel, check out my BJJ Fanatics referral code in the description and comment section below. Thank you and take care.